In a 2009 interview with Reader's Magazine, Kanye West says, quote, I am a proud non-reader of books. I like to get information from doing stuff like actually talking to people and living real life, end quote, which he ironically shares while on a tour promoting his own book. This interview takes place five years after he drops his wildly successful debut album, The College Dropout. The anti-intellectual spirit that was creeping into American culture is now a pervasive force that is spreading like wildfire. In this case, a public figure wears the non-reading label proudly, but this attitude is not new. I'm in my eighth year teaching college level reading and writing courses. And at the beginning of every semester, I ask students a few icebreaker type questions in an effort to get to know them. In addition to asking where they are from and what they do for work, I ask them to name their favorite book. When I first began teaching, maybe one student each semester would reluctantly admit they have never read a book or they don't like to read. This person wore it like a badge of honor, the way Kanye West does. They felt proud that they had been able to game the system and even get into college without having read a book. Each semester, more and more students tell me they don't read, don't like to read, and can't remember the last book they read. This semester, I had 21 students say they don't like reading, they don't enjoy reading, they don't have time to read, or that they hardly read. In his 1933 work, Counterstatement, Kenneth Burke, a well-known thinker in rhetorical theory, blames the spread of literacy through compulsory education for what he calls bad readers. Lee Bortons, a contemporary classical educator, describes the factory education model that perpetuates what Burke calls compulsory education. She writes, quote, Historically, the industrial age coincided with a national mandate to provide public education for the masses. In order to take on this enormous task, school systems replicated some of the efficiencies built into a large factory, as if they could ignore the fact that the components coming down the assembly line were children. I am a product of a mass-produced education, and it is very likely that you are too. The education system is not the problem, it's the symptom. Much like Kanye West, I've helped perpetuate the anti-intellectual spirit. While I've always been passionate about learning and even reading, I thought the institution was the enemy and academia was a game. While this posture toward education needs to be corrected, this memorial explores the trauma that undergirds the fear of intelligence that characterizes the anti-intellectual spirit that pervades our culture, both within and without the academic institution. I used to treat books as the magic tool that will save our culture instead of what Gregory Ulmer calls the wishing why in his 2005 book, Electronic Monuments. The wishing why is the art of wonder, the unending curiosity, and the power of attention. Read more, learn more, change the globe.